I'm Mayor Clive Toy from the city of Moose Jaw. We're here in Tatawa Park with Chief Leanne Keeler from the Kwakatoos uh, First Nation. Welcome. Thank you. And with Clayton Getz from the Waccamaw Aboriginal Community Association. Welcome. Thank you. And Clayton, can you tell us a little bit about your history and where you're from? Um, I was raised in Regina and I moved here about 12 years ago and, and I would not leave this city for anything. So this is a great city to live in. And I raised my kids here and my kids love it. Thank you. We're here because we're celebrating Indigenous Awareness Day, June 21st, every year, the longest day of the year. Uh, Leanne, do you happen to have any idea of, of why we chose June 21st as the longest day of the year? Do you think there's any significance there? I think for summer solstice, like you mentioned, uh, having the longest day of the year for us, um, the importance of harvest and working the lands and that sort of thing. You're the first female chief from your First Nations. Can you talk a little bit about that? Yeah, so um, uh, the, the history of the community has always been uh, the chief was a man's role and he was usually a hereditary chief, so it was passed down from the generations. But I think um, this time around, uh, our community had looked at, um, uh, at being a grandmother, a cookum, and a mother. Um, mm -hmm. Just some, I guess, uh, the caring and spirit of being that role. So being and, elected in that is... Yes, is, and, and you're not new to uh, your, your First Nation. You were a counselor on the, in the band before. That's right. Yes, I served as counselor uh, the past four years. What does uh, National Indigenous Awareness Day mean to you? Well, for our community, we're having a mini powwow. So we celebrate, uh, especially a good gathering is the powwow, where we bring all our families together, all our children, and just the beautiful colors, uh, reminder, and the dance, and the drum. Uh, we are very uh, strong in our culture at home, so uh, it just made sense for us to have a mini powwow for June 21st. Awesome. Um, Clayton, you mentioned that you've been in this area before uh, and you've participated in some drumming and some powwow activity. Can you tell us a little bit about that? Well, I'm uh, the head of the drumming committee and, and uh, yeah, and I, I'm the drum carrier, and the drum keeper, sorry. And, uh, and yeah, I, uh, I'm vice chair of WACA. And, uh, it's this drumming is I love it. And, uh, and, and, and you and you and some of your uh, your group have been here and and had a had a drumming session. And you told me you had a bonfire here and whatnot. Yeah, yeah. just if we look over across the way, we can see the bonfire pit over there in Connors Park, and yeah, this and everything. And, and uh, this land is great, and it's beautiful, and I think that everybody should come and enjoy the land. We're at the entrance to Tatawa Park. Um, some people will remember it as the Moose Jaw Wild Animal Park. It's been renamed with the Cree word uh, meaning welcome. We're happy to be uh, celebrating this day and um, thank you so much for the two representatives that have come here, Clayton and Leanne, to help us today. And uh, I, I came here as a child and participated, uh, uh, you know, uh, watching the powwows and I'm hoping that in the future we'll have more powwows uh, down in this land, which uh, uh, would be a really good thing to uh, build a relationship uh, with, with the city and, and the various First Nations in our area. So um, I'm looking forward to that. And so we have a proclamation um, from the city of Moose Jaw. It says, whereas the city of Moose Jaw believes it is beneficial for all Canadians to recognize the contributions of First Nations in Canada's development, and the opportunity to learn more about cultural heritage of First Nations, Inuit and Métis people in Canada, especially for our young people, will assist in creating harmony among all Canadians and promote a greater appreciation, acceptance of each other's point of view. And whereas the summer solstice holds special significance for many Indigenous groups, many of whom already celebrate their cultures and heritage on that day, and whereas Canada has recognized National Indigenous Peoples Day since 1996, now therefore I, Clive Tolley, Mayor of the City of Moose Jaw, do now proclaim June 21st as National Indigenous Peoples Day 
in the city of Moose Jaw, and I urge all citizens, organizations, and institutions to recognize this week and to join in its observance. So I'll sign that, making this official. And uh, as Clayton says, get out and enjoy this park. Get down here and, um, and celebrate uh, our mutual history and uh, enjoy yourself on uh, National Indigenous Day. Thank you.